Good morning. I'm out at the Blue Canyon Country Club today on the lakes course. No warm up. Quite often here, if you turn up early for your tea time, you, you basically shuffle straight onto the first tee. I wish I'd had time to do some video of the clubhouse and the gardens because it is absolutely outstanding. Now, I'm playing the blues, 6,500 yards. According to the card, it's got a stroke rating of 70 and a slope of 115 and yet there's water on practically every single hole. This just wouldn't happen in England. You know, this, this would have a stroke rating of 74 with all this water and it would have a, have a slope of probably 132. There's no WHS charts anywhere, so that was a fail, wasn't it? So I'm, I can just play off the six that I've, my home handicap. And I should be doing that virtually everywhere. I've just bought an umbrella, because you can't survive out here with, without an umbrella. And yesterday my old one broke, so a UV lined umbrella is, is what you need. This place looks amazing. Don't know how many balls I'll get through today. Hopefully get all the way around without losing a single one. Opening hole, bit of a long par four down the hill. Bunkers left, water right. Now it is wider than it looks on the screen. Far left. Bunker. Bit of a tug on the tee shot. Now I've got a shot over water. I'm going for the fat of the green left. Oh, left again. Simon. Okay, sir. Okay. Not enough. Go. So I got left inside, up and down. See how that turned back? An opening bogey, but early days yet, isn't it, guys? Bogey. See, that is one of the dangers out here, is there's nobody around, so they, uh, you skip the driving range. I mean, hell, I haven't even put on my sun cream yet. So we start with the, the inevitable bogey. Bloody hell. Who gives a damn? Look at this place. Six iron down the breeze, all carry. This is a bit scary. Better. Oh, oh it's on. Okay. Yeah. Time for two. Well, it's dark your side. It's shiny my side. So it's down the grain. Oh. Oops. Yesterday's green much slower. <laughs> Left inside. Left inside. Yeah. Tell me this. What's a working man from a working man's golf club doing in a place like this? This is what the Saturdays are for to be out here. This is when all your work, all your saving, all your sacrifice is worth every moment that it's cost you. As this was back into the wind, I think I should have hit driver. Water left, water right. I was trying to be safe. Baby, not sure water. Okay. Yeah, go left. Like many courses in Thailand, there's a drop zone. So this is where I'm playing my third from.
just got to slice this against the wind. Easy for me. Bloody perfect. This shot, not so easy. Way below my feet. And I completely oh, no. failed to cut this oh, into the green. That's not bad. Water down the left. The tough tee shot. It's okay. 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 Well, I fancied four iron on this, but the caddy said no, and I think she was right. A little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay, on on right. Oh, right Go. Not bad guys, not bad. Oh, too much, too much. Water right, water left, trees left, bunkers right. Count the hazards. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic tee shot. Sadly, this is a little bit knifey. Oh, top, right? It's okay. 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 Why? Left inside, yeah, I can, I can see the grain. Yeah. Okay. No bunker. I think it's okay. <laughs> One of the design aspects in Thailand that you come across on par fives is a water hazard. 
impeding your second shot. So you find yourself hitting okay. the mid iron when you really wanted to hit a wood and then having another mid iron to the green. It's a bit sad really, but it's quite common. So in the drink stop there was a group having lunch so I had quite a bit of a wait on this tea. You know I had 10 minutes myself because I was a bit cooked. Okay. And this is another typical thing with Thailand and another water hazard. Now I wanted to go over the top of the trees above my head but the caddy said no there's water down there and I've ended up with a third shot that's longer than my second shot because sometimes caddies will be over cautious but that was a wonderful hooked five iron although this is pretty dead dead and buried and that duff was absolutely perfect but the putt for par I would never have got without a caddy I saw this as right edge and she told me about a hole and a half. So I would have missed this on my own. Come cut. Thank you. I never get that on my own. <laughs> Long wait again. But I've pulled the driver and I'm going at this one. Oh no. Now quite often in this broadleaf grass, the ball will sit on top beautifully. So you better take advantage of it when it does. That's good. Until I got on this tee I had didn't realise that the three ball I had caught up were practicing their putting on every hole. So this was a very long wait, which usually results in a bad shot for me. That's why I hate slow play. And now I'm chipping down grain. I haven't got a chance. Too much. And now I'm putting back into the grain, so it's kind of like difficult to get online. Long wait here. This hole is a complete cock up. Drive was a bit of a slap, so it's shorter than I than it should have been. Then I pulled three wood for my second shot and waited and waited and waited. And I hit it to the right, which was towards the water, but yeah, it was absolutely way. hammered. We're driving down, I can't see the ball, so I said, take me to the drop zone. And she said, there isn't a drop zone. So we just stopped the car, and I dropped the ball, and continued with the hole. After I'd finished the hole, I then dashed across to have a quick look for my ball, and found it. I found my original ball, but the game behind was pressing, so it was... I need to switch to Stableford and to be honest if you're coming out here to play golf you're much better off playing Stableford than stroke play because then when you have a disaster hole it just goes down on the card as nil points and doesn't do you any real harm <laughs> it's all right yeah. it's out now the third shot here I am still thinking of par but sadly, that's just a little tugged, so the par's gone out the window. Up. 
Look at the brake on this. Up and down. And again, without a caddy, there is no way on this planet I could cosy this ball up to the hole by myself. Just not possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 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 Again. <laughs> well, the little bit of laughter was, as you can see, I'm only about three yards short of the water. But at least there's a shout of good shot from the next tee box. Okay. Well, that last tree is a bit tall for me, so sadly I can't go at this flag. I find it quite amazing that over a putt of this length the grain can cancel out the very obvious slopes on the green and the caddy says left edge and I find it very hard to get my brain around this fact The only hole on the course with no water on it. Flags over the bunker. Go. 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 It went. That was a really good shot. But as you can see, it's shiny, so when it landed on the green, it was down grain and never stopped. Oh, I did it like a girl. Go, 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 go. But you know, we'll take a par any day of the week on a par three like that. Right, over the top of the big tree. It's not actually that far away. It's only right. about 190 yards to that tree. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but this must be the toughest shot I've faced all day. No. Missed all the water, then ran down to here. And I still can't get it in my head that if you're going into the grain with your pitch or your chip, you've got to throw it to the flag. Otherwise you're left with another putt into the grain. But what a fantastic caddy I've had today. Another bogey. Come, cat. Yeah.